Welcome everyone, my name's Dom, and I know it's been a long time coming, but I am finally done and finally ready to upload and talk about this. Yes, the Project Aura, made by Google, canceled, all that stuff, so let's get into it. So, even though it's been longer than 30 days, I did go ahead and complete the 30 day usage of the R. And there is, there, there, there's a lot to say about this phone. And yet, unfortunately, not so much to say, right? Because most of the stuff that we can talk about right now when it comes to this phone is theoretical. I mean, there aren't any modules, which I've talked about in some of the other videos, you know, kind of leading up to this one. And so, the, like the first thing I would say is having the ability to just swap out a module, not even on the fly, but just as a new feature becomes available, as as you know, a new camera, or you just need to add something to your phone, it will reduce e-waste, reduced cost. Honestly, the, the concept there is already incredible. I mean, just the fact that it has an internal and external battery means you can, you know, you get the benefits of both worlds. And as your battery goes, you know, bad, you can just put in a new one and you still get functionality out of your phone. In essence, the best part about this phone would have been that your phone acts more like, you know, a, a traditional computer. Uh, you know, you need to upgrade a part, right? And it seems so obvious, but this isn't something that you see in a lot of phones. This isn't something you see in a lot of devices. You really only ever see it in like desktops and what have you. The fact that you could just, you know, as, as it gets older, as it becomes more obsolete, you can continue to upgrade it. You know, it's just a shell to hold the different components. And like, I think that that right there, just from an e-waste perspective would have been amazing. I mean, if you know, this, this particular unit doesn't come with a module or even built in wireless charging, but you could just throw a Qi charging module on it. And now you have wireless charging. And that's, that's kind of like the bigger premise when it comes to this phone. If you want a whole bunch of lenses, like the, you know, these ridiculous smartphones, I don't even know where I put my phone, but you know, all the modern smartphones have like, you know, all these lenses and that might not be something that you care about, or maybe you only need a certain lenses like a zoom and a wide angle for some reason, and not the standard, you know, the, not the standard lens. You can do that. You can configure and get what you want, or you could have a bunch of lenses. You could have incredible, you know, an incredible macro lens and get those really close detailed shots, or you can get, you know, a super wide, whatever, everything in between, right? You know, shallow depth of field, name it, and you can have it. And that would have been the greatest uh, premise with this phone. My only holdups, if I'm being honest, I would imagine uh, there would have been a lot of crappy modules. Just like there's a lot of crappy apps, there would have been a lot of crappy modules, a lot of cash grabs. One of the things that would have needed to happen is the, the modules that were gonna come for this phone needed would need to be of quality and need to have a well-made a well -made app and, and be very well supported. All of those elements would need to be in this phone or for the modules for this phone. Now, using the phone day to day, nothing's really changed from my 14 day update, right? It's, uh, you know, it's 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 big, it's a big thick phone. Um, it's got a good screen, the battery life, I mean, it's an older phone, so it's kind of meh. Uh, but I mean, everything about it was fine. I mean, there was nothing particularly different from a traditional Android experience, even though it's an older Android phone. You know, there's a few bugs and a few quirks and stuff like that, but I, I mean, that's, you know, that, that's just the nature of the device, right? Like this thing was never brought to, to retail. So it's not like it's gonna be, you know, like the most refined polished experience. There's still a lot of work that needed to be done on this device. But I mean, long story short, yeah, this would have been a great project. I don't know why Google doesn't bring it back. Certainly there is something that their marketing team sees or somebody sees somewhere that says, you know what, this is not gonna work. The public's not gonna respond to it. And you know what? The public isn't going to respond to it. And it's never gonna be a competitor for things like the iPhone and the galaxies and all that stuff like that. That's not who it's for. This is a niche phone with a niche market, but those people are going to love it. And I know that because I'm seeing the comments of people who wish that this phone had come out in the videos that I've published. So I don't know if there's ever gonna be a future for this kind of device. But you know, it's 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 very disappointing that there's that there isn't because this could have been used in so many ways. It could have been used to you know to provide uh, resources to people, niche people with niche needs that can't necessarily get a phone with you know some of the, some of the potential modules that I saw were like a, like an insulin uh, an insulin scanner thing. You know, if you need a pulse checker, you get you know you get the health stuff, your camera stuff, add new features, uh, you know, flashlights, whatever. You know, whatever that would have been that you know like that's that's the market that you cover. And, and and this this phone would have done an incredible job with that 
quick side note on this phone and some of the comments that you guys have been leaving though. So the phone is, uh, you know, I can't say too much about like, you know, some of the comments that I got asking, you know, like where I got the phone and uh, would I be willing to sell it? No, the phone unfortunately is not for sale. Um, it is a it is a treasured object of mine and I will be holding on to it for the foreseeable future. But I do appreciate you guys showing so much interest in it and 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 really, you know, participating and, um, you know, just, just, just really showing so much enthusiasm for such a cool piece of, uh, of tech history here. And, you know, if, if there's more stuff that you guys want to see about the phone, if there's more things that you guys want me to do with the phone, I'll be more than happy to do that. I can make some videos and what have you. So leave any of that stuff down below. But yeah, you know, taking, taking all that aside, the thing that I've learned mostly from this phone is that there is not going to be a phone for everyone. There's not going to be a be all end all perfect phone for everyone. Phones have kind of plateaued in features and now there's so many categories there's phones that focus specifically on cameras there's phones with a high level of focus for camera but a good overall you know and, and with apple and android and, and you know there's 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 different platforms there's different hardware specs there's gamer phones there are so many types of phones and while it would be you know like it's not impossible for the day-to-day -day person to be able to find a phone that suits them this would have allowed them to really get what they wanted out of their device. It would have done the big thing that Apple has been talking about to justify their no charger in their boxes, which would have been reduced e-waste. That would have been like the biggest, like the biggest perk of this because you wouldn't have to get rid of your phone. It could go from a two, three, four year phone to possibly longer. Not that I, I wouldn't imagine many people keep their phones for four years, but I know that the age of phones, like people holding onto their phones getting longer and longer. This could have expanded on that. This could have built on that. And it would have allowed companies to, you know, even reach out and say, okay, well, here's, you know, this was the version one that, you know, that, that came out when, you know, when you first got the phone, you know, here's the version two. So you can continue to, you know, like engage with your companies. This is something that like Tesla has been doing where they're continuously passing upgrades and, and different, you know, features and things to their existing cars. You can, as a business, continue to make money off of your existing customers instead of making them wait, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years before now it's like, okay, that thing's obsolete. It's not working anymore. Now it's time to upgrade. TVs, cars, all these different companies need to be participating in this. Don't try to strong arm your, your, your customers, your fans into buying an entirely new unit. Give them the opportunity to upgrade. Give them the opportunity to scale. Give them the opportunity to, at the very least, get more out of it. I can only imagine how much money some of the some of the car companies and TV companies would make if they just allowed you to be able to upgrade their stuff. And I know Samsung tried this with their, you know, to get on TVs a little bit, sorry, um, with their little one UI box or whatever it was called, the, the one box that, you know, it was a, it was an external uh, connector and it basically, it just held all the ports and the operating system and all that stuff like that. And then your TV was just the TV and it was, you know, you plug everything in there. That's, 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 that's decent. Um, but I still think that there is a lot of there, you know, there's a lot of work. Um, there's a lot of additional things that can be done to perfect that. But I do think that there is a use case for it. It's just going to take some time. People are not used to having upgradable phones, upgradable TVs. It's sort of like, okay, I buy this thing and now I use it and I wait. And eventually, eventually, you know, I'll get another one. But until the market becomes used to the idea that, yeah, you could just, you know, quickly swap and you got to make it easy, right? You can't make it like PCI Express where you got to, you know, take out screws, take off the, you know, take out the panel, take off screws, unplug wires and stuff like that. That's, you know, that's specific for PC builders and for gamers and what have you, right? But for everyone else, when it comes to your car, being able to get a software update, just to add new features, to be able to, you know, take your, you know, potentially upgrade, you know, certain parts of of your tv to be able to even if it's just via software like you know just put the hardware and then give the software later or make them pay for the software right so you could upgrade all your ports to hdmi 2.0 you know i've talked about that in some rants and stuff or, or 2.1 sorry 2.1 i've talked about that and and this this is this is like the 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 culmination of all of that stuff and that is really what i've learned about what this phone could have been is an opportunity for the market to adapt and to change to something that allows them to get kind of what they want, when they want, without having to break the bank, without having to mess with their upgrade schedule, without having to, there's just so many perks and there's so many pros. And you know, 
um, I will continue to take good care of this phone. So, you know, don't worry guys, like I said, and a little side note there before, if there's something that, uh, you know, that, that you would like to see me do with this phone or, you know, like something, you, you know, a feature, a test, anything like that, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, please consider subscribing and liking all that stuff like that, right? I'm doing the new thing, you know, share the video. Um, if you like it, I think it helps out the channel a whole bunch. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to conclude this one. And so as always, talk to you soon.